Hi, I'm Brian Appleby Weinberg, and I'm Associate Professor of Trumpet at Rowan University. And I'm here today to chat with you a little bit about how I use this Korg TM40 uh, to teach intonation to my Rowan Trumpet students. So when I'm um, teaching intonation and uh, listening skills, um, and I'm in a lesson situation, I need, and I need a little bit more sound to really make the point, um, I will use a mini jack um, link to um, an external speaker um, and just uh, use, use that as the sound output rather than the internal speaker. Thankfully, this particular tuner gives me both the needle, has a metronome, and also outputs a chromatic octave, which I find very useful for my trumpet students. So I talk with them about what it means to be in tune versus out of tune, but demonstrating is always the best way to, to deal with it. So if I give you a little demonstration of just a concert F, G natural, on the B-flat trumpet. So usually after demonstrating the flatness and the sharpness and I zero in on the, the middle of the pitch, we're usually able to get them to recognize that when you have beats, you're out of tune. When you don't have beats, you're in tune. If we, have that, if we can't do that, then we usually go to uh, watching the needle and getting them to, to match with the needle. And then we go to get them close enough to the, the pitch generator. So basically, we're adjusting um, open and closed. Uh, we're adju adjusting temperature, we're, uh, tension. We're adjusting um, air pressure. Um, and uh, we're raising the pitch up and down. We also have to develop that technique on the instrument. So we'll do lots of um, exercises. to get the lip ready to make those kinds of adjustments on the instrument um, so we can take into account who we're playing with and where we are in the chord. I can have them tune both the unison pitches with the chromatic tuner, but I can ask, also have them tune, um, and I do this myself, tune notes of the scale. So we get um, how the notes relate to each other in a chord and in intervals. So if I were to do just a B flat major scale, I might play um, where all the notes sort of feel comfortable on the instrument, which um, is, of course, not actually in tune. <laughs> which, of course, if you played it against you play it against that fixed pitch, it's very out of tune. So um, we talk about how you tune each, notes of the, each note of the scale against uh, the tonic. So we can tune how you, how you tune the root third, fifth, sixth, and octave against a fixed pitch. Um, and then we can go further. We can have groups of people, when we put the tuner through an amplifier, we can have groups of people tune chords based on the tonic. And um, gradually over time, we can get the students to recognize those chords as they show up in given pieces. And they will be sort of constantly adjusting and listening for the unison, but also for all the intervals. And they also know in advance, because they've done tuned against the tuner, uh, the pitch tuner generator, they know what their tendencies are on their instrument. Um, and they're more likely to get close. And then with the development and aversion, developing this aversion to those beats, they, uh, they can adjust on the fly in an ensemble. 